Jesus tells me now. There is a girl by the name of Esther. There is a girl by the name of Esther. You have a lot of fear in your life. The Lord Jesus tells me now. He drives that fear away. He drives that fear away. He drives that fear away by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every lump in the stomach, in the lower stomach, come out now in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. What this is seven Esther for four years. She had a big lamp here. And yesterday, when she was here, she had a lot of pain when the ministry was going on. Normally when she walks, she experienced pain. Now when she went home and slept, Akalala. Waking up in the morning, searching for, for, the, for the lamp. Aka, it's not aka, there. Aka, 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 my Lord, aka, my Lord. Aka, All the lamp is gone, child. Everything, Everything is gone. Aka. Everything is gone. Aka. Everything is gone. Aka. Pastor, this is Pastor, Pastor Milton. Milton. This is Pastor Milton. And Bless he testifies because she's from his congregation. And Nim he endorses that. that my mean. God. With proof. My God. And she's completely healed. You are the pastor. And she is completely healed. All the lump, every cancer, every Thank you, Jesus. 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 Esther, look here. This is Esther. Esther, come here. Who is Esther? My God. She came here. She was feeling very uncomfortable. And when the prayer were going on in this place, she vomited this big charm here. When she, once she did that, once she vomited, then she felt comfortable again. Yes. This is the cancer. 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 This is the Oh my God, lift your hand to Jesus. Lift your hand. You are healed, child. You are healed. You are healed. Live, my daughter. Oh, thank you, Jesus. These are the days of Elijah Declaring the word of the Lord And these are the days of your servant Moses, righteousness being restored. And though these are days those who have problem in your ears. Where were the Jesus Kioni? Those who have pain in your ears. Place one finger in your ears. Place one finger in your ears. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By his blood we are saved. A famine and darkness and so Still we are the voice in the desert crying Preparing the way have pain in your eyes, if you are sick in your eyes, place one finger on your eyes, place one finger on your eyes, as an act of faith, in the name of Jesus, every disease in the eyes, you are defeated. The triumph is becoming as fresh And these are the days of your servant David Rebuilding a temple of praise Emmanuel comes to the grandmother Huyu, Emmanuel, yake. For the past seven days kwa, kwa siku saba zizo pita. Eight days he had swallowed this siku coin nane. here It's a 200 shillings coin Alikuwa memeza eh, salafu ya miambiri the doctors had given him a diet. Uh, chakula marum. 
but he couldn't just take it out. Hakuweza kuitoa hiyo tumboni. This morning, asubuhi leo, when they came here, lakini walipofika hapa, he felt like he wants to go to the bathroom. Akajisikia kama vile anatakiwa kwenda tena bafuni. And when they went to the bathroom, walipokwenda chooni, he passed to aka akaweza and the grandma said let me just look around akata bibi akasema ngoja niangalie ametoa nini he saw this 200 coins ndipo akaiona hii shilingi 200 imetoka tumboni mwa Emmanuel lift your hands to jesus hebu mpe yesu makofi to jesus makofi kwa yesu hallelujah makofi kwa yesu On the 8th of this month, dog bit her hands. She had severe pain in this hand. And in the whole of her body. Since the 8th, she can always hear that dog barking. But since yesterday after the prayers, she could no longer hear the dog barking. And all the pain on her body is gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask her to move her hand. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What I've seen to this man is very, very unique. The man is so humble. He preaches with the love, real love of Christ. Oh, this is something I can learn from him. Many people witnessed, testified they were healed, set free, set free psychologically, set free in their sicknesses. We had been greatly, greatly blessed. That's why people really want you to come back again, because this is the kind of Jesus ministry that we really need in our city, in our country, so that the people are set free from the bondage of the devil. A very important thing I can say is the Great Commission. It's all about going out, reaching out to the nations, each and every people group, and making them disciples. This is what exactly you are doing. So the same spirit as you come more to us and impart that knowledge to us, we will have also the same power and same devotion in goals and rich others. Ultimately, the kingdom of God is built. I was really surprised how God has done a wonderful things. It's not only through the teaching and the miracle signs and wonders. So I can carry something to the people of Zambia and tell them about the man of God. And also we want to welcome the ministry gift in Zambia so that the Zambia people also will experience similar kind of ministry in their life. Those who have pain in your shoulder, those who have pain in your shoulder, just lift your hand to Jesus. His mother is was sick Mama yake alikuwa mgonjwa and she could not turn because of the pain in the brain all running around at the back send a text to his mother and his mother right now has sent back a message she can move freely she is healed totally
you have problem in your stomach, kama una tuboni, if you have defect in your stomach, una tuboni mwako, he place your hand there in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Kwa china la Yesu Christ of Nazareth. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you defeat a disease in the stomach. Wewe ugonjwa uliyeshindwa tuboni. Come out in Jesus Christ. Toka kwa china la Yesu. Who you Gladys? Just now you said someone has been healed of throat pain who cannot swallow and eat properly. Who this is Gladys for two years she cannot eat properly and drink properly. You Where couldn't you swallow, you couldn't eat, you couldn't drink anything. Now, now just Sasa, drink something. Now just check your throat now. All the swelling, all the lump, all is gone. Just she went and took some water and drank and the water is flowing so smoothly. No pain, no pain. Everything is fine. She can drink well. 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 She She's been sick for two months with severe chest pains. She couldn't even utter a word. Today she uttered a word for the first time. She can take a deep breath. My God, all the pain, no pain at all. All the pain is gone. She's been suffering with skin allergies and itching for the past 11 years. And when she came here this morning, she was still scratching. But she says after the prayers, all the itching has gone. And she's sealed. Completely. Come here. All the itching is gone. She's fine. Pastor, this dear one pastor, this child, who you need from birth, couldn't sleep well. And every time 
kila mara they need to put injection wali uh, pasa kumchoma sindani and after the injection only na baada ya kumchoma the child will sleep angelala usingizi yesterday she came for the meeting jana baada ya kuja kwenye mkutano and she received a miracle alipokea mtoto huyu uzima the child is sleeping very well na mtoto amelala usingizi wote they don't need the injection anymore wala hakukua na sababu ya kuchoma sindano ili alale tena no families rejoicing fast na familia yote sasa zinashangaa no injection no doctor hakuna sindano tena kwa mtoto no doctor Jesus has healed him. Yes, I'm in Jesus has healed. Yes, I'm we have a testimony for the mother and the child kuna shuda kwa mtoto na kwa had severe pain on the head kulikuwa na maumivu kwenye kichwa kwa mama but today lakini leo this morning asubuhi leo completely healed amepona kabisa and even the baby is having some problem with the stomach na huyu mtoto alikuwa na maumivu kwenye tumbo but this morning lakini asubuhi leo all well kila kitu kimeondoka kwa hivyo for 25 years she has been using glasses now when she was prayed for lakini baada ya kuombe she can read without ametoa miwani akafanya majaribio anaweza kusoma bila bila miwani Isaiah 25 ee bwana wewe huu Mungu wangu haleluya nitakushukuru yes lord na kukuhimidi amen haleluya 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 thank you god because this uh, the power we saw in these two days lately it was like a, it was like a comfort comfort from the lord you know in this way it sound well it was a faraja it was like a comfort from the lord <sighs> all of us were just to be we gathered and say god thank you we thank god for a man of god to come to a country that is in obedience God who is at work to bring the church and the country together. We pray that by God's divine intervention we can make this an annual event if we can also think of come having something like crusade meeting whereby a lot more people from various uh, uh, backgrounds may be brought to hear uh, God at work in our country through crusade meetings. We truly thank God and appreciate and pray that uh, This not be the last occasion for you to come to our country. We we'll be very glad to see you come again. I would like to thank uh, our brother Nathan the director. I've learned something through him how he could uh, administer things, how he run things, how he give he gives instructions to the choir to us and other people. It was marvelous we learned quite a lot just a few things to say on behalf of my uh, colleagues here my, uh, my other bishops other pastors here in our in our city here in dar es salaam in our in the church in, in our country that god has sent uh, reverend dr dil komar and his team here i just want to say you, you, you don't know how much happy we are because most of the people who attended this this school we are just uh, very excited in saying well now the church has been brought to, i mean the foundation which has been uh, broken now have been uh, realigned again but even though the school was only two days but how you went through the, the gospel procedure everyone everyone kill them to perceive the truth that's why today we received the phone from so many pastors and say the things which are happening there at the school they are, they were been they have been happening in our churches today you see they were very much excited they say i saw myself now uh, the, 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 the miracles have been happening in my church very simply it is only simple simple they just happen like that and i hope and i'm sure 
In when Amin. you come back next time, yes. you'll see the churches in Dar Salaam Church. Mm -hmm. And this will encourage you to come and bless us with more truth and